the second part of our purchasing your own domain video. In this part we're actually going to show you how to manage this domain. You can log in. As I said before, you'll have a uh, customer ID number and then you created the password if this is your first time creating a GoDaddy account. You can log in and you can click on domains. That's this area right here. And then click on my domains. And when you do that, your domain will be there. I want to deal with the new new domain that we just created. Sorry about that. I want to deal with redneckwealth.com. So I'm going to click on that here. And this tells me a lot of information. One, it's just parked here at domaincontrol.com. But the area that we want to work with is this area right in here, which says that the domain is not forwarded. And we want to change that in, a, in order to use this domain to, uh, to promote our business or to promote wh whatever site we want to promote, an affiliate link or whatever. But we're going to be able to do this just simply using our, our new domain name. So domain is not forwarded. We'll just click on that. It's going to sit there and it's going to load a section. And it, could, it takes us a few minutes here. We want to enable forwarding. We want to enable forwarding. So these two things here are not, not vitally important at this point. There's, uh, but what we want to do is it says for, when we enabled it forwarding, it kind of highlights up forward to. And when you use your link here, you want to use the full link beginning with HTTP. In fact, I'm going to look at the link I'm using here under the marketing materials of unselfishwealth.com. And I'm using my unselfish wealth affiliate link. So I can just write, copy, go back here to uh, this area and start from the beginning. And just right click and paste and notice it has the whole thing. HTTP, the whole deal is there. And then I just click OK. And this is going to take just a little while to upgrade, or promulgate, they call it. It'll take just a few minutes. It may take, if I go, after giving it a few minutes, redneckwealth.com, you'll notice that it goes, and it even shows the web address right there. And that's not, a, not much of an issue. It goes to my uh, Unselfish Wealth, the main page, where I told it to go. So I can advertise redneck wealth whoop redneck wealth.com and anywhere in my emails and stuff like that and it's not going to be bought because it's a brand new domain name it's not going to be blacklisted where unselfishwealth.com is being used by thousands of members this is only being used by me so it looks different it's going to get better click throughs and it's not blacklisted anywhere at all and it's going to get them to the page that I need to get them to. I'm going to take some people feel like they need to go a step further. And uh, for you people that feel like you need to go a step further and actually do what they call masking the domain name, we'll do that. I'm logged into the uh, GoDaddy account, and we're going to look at uh, the masking feature on a forwarded domain. So I just go to my domains. It's going to bring up the list of the different domain names that uh, that I have. You may only have one here if this is your first trip through. We're dealing with redneckwealth.com. I just click on it. It'll bring up the tools I need to manage that domain name. And currently, uh, what we have done is we have turned forwarding on in the previous part of this video. And it shows where it's being forwarded to. Now, to edit this, I just want to click right here. And this is a, you're going to be able to send your domain name to whatever site you have here. Now you can change this at any time. You could use one of the a splash page here instead of the main page. You can change it at any time, but you can uh, easily forward 
using the domain name you chose. In this case, I chose redneckwealth.com. Now, what we talked about was masking. And so we can enable masking. Now, when you enable masking, you can put the title in here. A proven system for building stronger teams. You can also put in a descriptive tag. You can put in here unselfish wealth builds Travelencia. Now, I'm just going to copy that. Here's where you can put keywords, and you can put a lot of keywords in here. Okay, over here, and it's going to update. And we just talked about the fact that your link showed up, you know, still showed up in the page whenever we use redneckwealth.com. So now, it may take a few minutes for it to update. It still hasn't updated. It'll take a few minutes for it to update. And so we'll check on that and see what it looks like after it updates. And be sure it's not causing any problems. But uh, we've given a little bit of time. If I type in redneckwealth.com, you'll notice that it now has it masked. It also has the title that I give it up here, Proven System for Building Stronger Teams. And there's some keywords in there. Now it's going to keep that up there masked. What I'm going to do is scroll down the page. You'll kind of notice it in your viewing area there. If I click to go to Members Login, it doesn't change. It, it keeps that uh, redneckwealth.com up there. Now I'm going to test something out here. Test one. Uh, put in a test account here. Du, 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 what we want to be sure of is that when they're redirected to your tour, that they're still on your tour. Because you'll see nothing changes up here. That mask stays on. And in fact, yes, it works uh, works perfectly. It's working perfectly fine. You might want to test your... I will tell you that there is limitations here. We've come a long way. I mean, we've set up a domain name, purchased it for the whole year. We've created a forwarding, and we now have it masked so that our affiliate link or our our affiliate website ID won't even show up. I mean, we can send them to redneckwealth.com and they're going to go to our front page or wherever we direct them and they will never see an affiliate link at all. So we have come a long way, but I do want to tell you that there's, there is some advantages for those of you who wish to continue and learn more. There's advantages of hosting your site and I can help you host it free, no, no strings attached. And uh, but you'll need to learn a little bit more to be able to do that. But and I'll be coming out with a video on hosting your domain. Uh, it also will give you the ability to have a few email addresses with your domain name as part of that email. Those can be useful. So for those of you who want to learn more, look forward for that video. For those of you who are satisfied with where you are now, being able to send people to whatever website one at a time, as we're doing here. Uh, by masking the domain name but but actually using your own domain name that you own to get people to the site you want them to get to without seeing any kind of weird link this will increase your click-throughs it's a much more attractive website to uh, to put in an email that you're sending out to people you want to look at your business so uh, for those of you who are satisfied with that congratulations those of you who want to learn more and get a little more flexibility with it stay tuned